Hey guys, and welcome back to another Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. And we are actually on Besaid Island. We just met Walken. and we're actually going to the actual Besaid, the town, to see what's up here. He instructed us last time to go talk to the Crusaders because Titus doesn't remember what they are, even though he's never even, you know, saw them. Besaid Village. They got any food there? We'll get you something over there later. Take a look around first. Let's see. The Crusaders Lodge is over yonder. Luzu and Kata are usually there. Hmm. All right. Over here. Huh? What's up? You do remember the prayer, right? I don't know any prayers. Nope. Of course I'd never prayed before in my life. Not that he would know that. You must have forgot or something. Here, I'll show you. Go ahead, you try. Blitzball one, remember at the beginning? Eh, not bad. Okay, now go present yourself to the temple summoner. Any Blitzball player would know that prayer. It was the Blitzball sign for victory. He looks ready. There's actually some treasure chests we can find, like this one right here. And it's being done. Then you can come to this little secret road over here onto the left side. And there's always treasure chests here. And like every time you have to come here, you get a high potion. You get skill. You also get potions. And there's a guy here. Sin struck the said village so many times I lost count. After this house got hit, I guess the owner just left it be. Sad day. Why didn't he take the treasure chest? I would have. Oh wait, I did. Haha. <laughs> so anyway, we need to go into here and talk to the Crusaders that we don't know about. Well, at least Titus himself doesn't know about them. Here's the two people. There's actually a safe sphere in here, so why don't we go do that first? Aha! And save it on the right game. Because I have one game that I'm playing by myself, of course. So I don't have to talk every time I play it, because sometimes I get distracted. But I try not to save over that. But here's the Crusaders. Let's hit X. Hey, you! You were attacked by Sin, right? Recently, was it? I think so. So, Sin can't be far, right? You're not hiding anything, are you? Why would I? If Sin's nearby, it'll attack the island for sure. But it hasn't. I wonder why. I'm sorry, I really don't know anything. To tell the truth, I uh, don't even know what the Crusaders are. You're kidding, right? Sin, the toxin. Gotta tell him who we are. Yes, sir! The Crusaders are sworn to battle Sin. We have chapters throughout Spira, accepting all who wish to join our struggle. The hero Meehan formed the Crusaders 800 years ago as the Crimson Blades. Later, our ranks grew and we called ourselves the Crusaders. We've been fighting Sin ever since. What? You've been fighting 800 years and you still haven't beat it? Uh, uh, uh. Well, we've steered Sin away from towns many times. And that's all we can do. Nobody's ever been able to defeat it. Our mission as Crusaders is to protect the temples, towns, villages, and people of Spira. So, then whose job is it to defeat Sin? Is Sin's toxin really this bad, sir? It does seem rather bad. We could just tell you, but I think it better for you to try and remember. Go pray at the temple. Perhaps Yevon will help you regain your memory. You know, I hate to be against religion and all of that jazz, but really? You think that praying to a temple is gonna get my memory back? I think not. I think that I lived a thousand years ago and I actually don't know what the heck is going on here. So, that ought to be the truth. Anyway, 
<laughs> now that I'm done ranting, let's talk to this little girl. You're the talk of the town, you know. We travel fast in a village this size. Okay. Okay, let's actually we need to go to the temple like the crusader said. To go pray so our head will get better. Because something's wrong with our head, I think. It was then, standing in that place. I began to realize how different this world was from my own. No kidding. Okay, let's see what we have to do. Whew. Wait, why is everybody still alive if sin attacked? Ten years have passed since Lord Braska became High Summoner. And finally, we receive a statue for our temple. Well, what's a high summoner? <gasps> uh, I I got too close to Sin's uh, toxin. Apparently, that's a real good excuse. It was funny hearing myself make the same excuse over and over. Funny, and a little sad. The summoners are practitioners of a sacred art. Sworn to protect the people of Yevon. Only a chosen few become summoners, who call forth entities of great power, the Aeons. The Aeons hear our prayers and come down to us. They are the blessing of Yevon. So what he meant... ...was that we should respect some kind of great men, or something like that, I figured. Ah, that's what I think. Why not just live your darn life? Why have to pray? You know, I'm just gonna stop here because I know I'm probably gonna go and offend somebody because things like this really irk me, but you know what? Everybody has their own beliefs. You believe whatever the heck you want. Don't worry about what people say because it's your darn life. Anyway, so I believe we need to go to Waka's place. I think he said it was here. Of course, the biggest tent. There he is. Sorry, man. No time for lunch yet. Take a nap. You look pushed. I look thanks, yes. That was a quick lay down, holy crap. You could at least go see how they are doing. We can't interfere. It's a rule. But it's been nearly. It's a dream. But it's been nearly. It's been nearly a day already. Perhaps you could go look for us. People are searching for him now. Thank you. Who cares whether he comes back or not? But he might die. Fine, let him. Do you... Do you hate him so? But if he dies, you'll never be able to tell him how much you hate him. Well, assuming that that guy was at the temple, we're actually going to go back there to see what is up and why Waka has disappeared. Oh, Waka, where have you gone? Why? Why are you hiding from me and running away? I need you. 
need you in my life, my friend. Now we're actually going to learn a little bit about this, what he was calling the summoners with their aeons. We're going to learn a little bit of that right now. Is something wrong? The summoner hasn't returned from the trial. Eh? Well, apprentice summoner, really. Huh? There's a room in there called the Cloister of Trials. Beyond is where the apprentice summoner prays. If the prayer is heard, the apprentice becomes a fully fledged summoner. Remember? Uh, so someone is in there somewhere and they haven't come back out. Right, I got it. A day's already gone by. Is it particularly dangerous in there? Sometimes, yes. Why don't you go in and help? There's already guardians in there. Besides, it's forbidden. Hey, but what if something happens? What if the summoner dies? The precepts must be obeyed. Like I care. <laughs> Go, Titus. Show him who's boss. Show him it's not going to be so bad if he goes in there, even though it's going to be bad for us. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. The Cloister of Triers. Those who seek to learn of Yevon's secret arts are tested by the Cloister of Trials. Find the right way and you will be taken to the Chamber of the Faith. Examine objects with X to open the way. So this is a glyph that we have to touch. Touch it, Titus. Touch the glyph. Oh, yeah. That glyph likes it. Not to make anything more sexual than it already is. But anyway, we have to go through here. It's like a giant freaking puzzle game. And they suck. They really do. So we want to touch all the glyphs. Because they want to be touched in order to be opened. And we have opened the way. Now we're going to touch this thingy. We need a sphere to go further. And it will give us one. Glyph spheres open the way to the chamber of the faith. Destruction spheres open the way to hidden treasure. And it seems that besides spheres are also necessary. So which one do we have? We got a glyph sphere. You can only carry one sphere at a time, even though we clearly have two hands. Clearly. And so this is where we would enter a sphere like this. And then we'll take it because wait, 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 where is it? We're gonna get take it. Take it. No. Alright, and let's see what's down here. So to the left here. We're gonna put it in. Insert that sphere. We gotta touch and we gotta insert things and move them around a little bit. It's pretty great, these these cloister of trials. Pretty great. Inserted the glyph sphere. And what will we find behind it? A destruction sphere. Remember, the destruction sphere is the ones that opens the way to hidden treasure. So this. What's this say? Touch the symbols. Boom! More touches. We like to touch things. this destruction sphere. Oh, we found a besaid sphere first. So after... Oh, we didn't want to take that destruction sphere. We're going to leave it where it is. So that we can grab that besaid sphere in an open little secret area. Let me take you from this area. Let me grasp my one hand around you because I can't use both of them to touch you. And insert it in here. Oh, magic! And that's the place to the chamber of the faith, I believe that was called. But we don't want to move it just yet. We actually want to go back and get that destruction sphere. And blow shiz up. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Let's see what kind of treasure we get in this beautiful area. We should get something pretty sexy. Insert you in there. Let's see what we have. One line is going to be very destructive. Kaboom, boom. I wonder what... Whoa, I wonder how they came up with... The... Like, the sage spheres and stuff. Like, the glyphs and how they look and stuff. I wonder if those are, like, real in real life. Anyway, we open that and we get the Rod of Wisdom. Which we cannot... Use with Titus. But... We can use it with a future character that we will be receiving. So anyway, we want to push this. Maybe? There we go. You got this, Titus. Don't worry. I believe in you. And we want to push it in here. Hey! It's gotten into you. Hey, it's okay. Only summoners, apprentice summoners, and their guardians can enter here. As he goes in? It's a tradition. Very important. So what about you? Me? I'm a guardian. A guardian? Why wasn't he in there in the first place? Oh, whoa! Ah! Someone has gone on a pilgrimage to pray at every temple in Spira. Guardians protect them. The guardian's in there now. One of them's got a sure fuse, and who knows what the other's thinking. Well, now that we've come this far, might as well all right, go all here the way. we are. We're gonna go meet some of the new characters that may or may not join our team later on. The right thing. What are you doing here? Didn't think we'd be able to handle it. No, it's. Uh, it's just... See, I told you she gets mad <laughs> easy. I is the summoner all right? <gasps> Who are you? This must be the lucky charm. She did it, guys. She became the summoner. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Man, was I surprised. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. And now we party! Drink alcohol and break all the rules. Yay, they're gonna forgive me because they... a summoner was born. Yay! Alright, let's go see what's up. It looks like it's getting a little... Hey, over here! Over where? I heard your voice, Waka. Where are you? Oh, there you are. What? Ah! Uh, uh, ow! Wait till you see this! I can't see anything. Ready. Okay. It's 
pretty intense, apparently. Oh, snap. I had never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, it was a little scary, but still, I could feel a strange kind of gentleness coming from it. Valifor, yes, we want that name because it's awesome. I remember that night we talked for the first time. I didn't know it then, but after that night, everything changed. For everyone. For me. Let me introduce you to the team. This guy here wants into the tournament so bad, I let him on the team. His memory's a little fuzzy, so don't mind him if he says anything odd. Come on, say hi. Uh, hi guys. So what's our goal? To do our best! <sighs> nope, we got a new goal now. Our new goal is victory! To win every match, defeat every opposing team, to bring the Crystal Cup back to our island. That's all we need to do to win. Easy, huh? Victory! 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 All right, let's see what we have to do. Oh, let's go talk to Yuna. You heathen! Stay away from the summoner! You're a bad man! Lady Yuna, be careful. But it was really my fault to begin with. Oh. 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 I'm Yuna. Thank you so much for your help earlier. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't that... Wasn't I not supposed to... Guess I... Kind of overreacted. Oh no, I was overconfident. <laughs> They're both so stuttery and shy. Um, I saw that Aeon thing. That's amazing. Uh, really? Do you think I can become High Summoner? Lady Yuna, come play with me some more. So, tomorrow then. Tomorrow? We're going on the same boat, aren't we? Oh, really? We can talk more. Huh. You can tell me all about Xanarkand. She's cute, yeah? Yeah, duh. Don't get no ideas. No promises there, big guy. Hey, but what if she, like, comes on to me? That's not going to happen. If you get tired, let me know. I had a bed made for you. All right, so I don't think we can talk to her again. Stay nope. away. So let's talk to Waki. Waka, 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 waka. Mm, ready for bed? Yeah, let's get to bed. Good. Sleep tight.
Oh, look, we have a dream. Oh, look, there's Yuna. Let's see what she has to say. Where's, Where's that, that boat? boat? Everyone, Everyone will, will find, find us, us if it doesn't, doesn't come, come soon. soon. You, you really, really sure this is okay? okay? Would, Would you, you take, take me, me to Xanarkand? Hey! You said you'd, you'd go, go with me! me. Oh, hey! I, uh... I, uh... I thought Waka told you not to get any ideas. He did? Uh... Yeah, yeah so, you're so you're coming with me. Hey, stop dreaming! You, with a woman? You can't even catch a ball! Oh, what's the matter? Gonna cry again, cry, cry. That's the only thing you're good for. I hate you. Huh? What'd you say? You have to speak loudly. I hate you! Huh? That's the spirit. You can do it! Poor Titus. <laughs> I hate you! He's dead, okay? Dead. He does look a lot like Chapu. I was surprised too, the first time I saw him. But no matter what he looks like, he isn't Chapu. You shouldn't have brought him here in the first place. Yeah, but... He needed our help. Excuses again? Yeah, but... That's it. No more. Enough, Waka. Uh. Scary. So, who's Chapu? My little brother, Chapu. He looked like you. He's dead? He was with the Crusaders when they fought Sin last year. He didn't make it. I first heard on the day of the tournament. Oh, so that's why. I became a guardian to fight sin, yeah? Revenge, then? That was the idea. <laughs> I'm more worried about a stupid game now than avenging my brother. Well, after the next tournament, I'll be a guardian full time. I know it kind of looks like I'm using you, but I'm not. Don't worry. I mean, I owe you a lot. You really help me out, you know? What I mean is... Thanks, Waka. <laughs> Stop. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> He's like a big kid. <laughs> well, a little kid in a big boy's body. All right, so we're finally awake and let's see what we have to do. Ah, just kidding. We're actually gonna save it and in this episode here. I mean, we're already at 30 minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe and I hope to see you here next episode.